Think about what that means. If God were to replace my soul Saturday night, I die. And the thing that wakes up Sunday isn't me. Of course, he'd think he was me. He'd think to himself, I'm the very same person who was lecturing about philosophy last week. But he'd be wrong. Isn't the same person because it's not the same soul. He'd be wrong and, notice this, there'd be no way at all he could tell. I mean, he can check his beliefs, he can check his desires, he can check his memories, but that's not the key to personal identity according to the soul view. The key to personal identity according to the soul view is having the very same soul. Can't check that. You can't see the soul to see if it's the same one. So if this were to happen to him, he wouldn't be Shelley Kagan, the person who had been lecturing last week, but there'd be no way at all he could know that. And now, the question you need to ask yourself is, how do you know this didn't happen to you last night? You woke up this morning thinking, I'm the very same person, Joe, Linda, Sally, whatever it is, the very same person who was in class yesterday. How do you know? How could you possibly know? If God replaced your soul with a new one, destroyed the old one, gave the new one all the old memories, beliefs, desires, goals, and so forth, that person who was in class last week, yesterday, died. The person who's here now hasn't been around 10 years, 20 years, what have you. You were born a few hours ago. And there'd be no way at all that you could possibly tell. How do you know, not only that it didn't happen to you last night, how do you know something like this doesn't happen every single night? Every hour, on the hour. Every minute, every second, God whips out the old soul, destroys it, puts in a new one with, maybe souls only last for a minute and a half. If that was happening, then people don't last very long. Bodies may last 20 years, 50 years, 80 years, 100 years, but people would only last an hour, or if it's every minute substitution, a minute. And you'd never possibly be able to tell. Now, these worries were raised by John Locke, the great British philosopher, and he thought, this is too big a pill to swallow. This is too big a bullet to bite. We can't take seriously the suggestion that there's no way at all to tell whether it was still me from the one day to the next, from one hour to the next, from one minute to the next, just not plausible. It's not that there's anything incoherent about this view, it's not that there's anything logically contradictory about this view. You just have to ask yourself, could this really be what personal identity is all about? That there'd be no way at all to tell whether I've survived from one minute to the next, from one hour to the next? Locke thought no. You couldn't possibly take this view seriously if you thought about what it meant. Notice, this is not an argument that souls don't exist. If you find this argument convincing, what it's an argument for is the claim that even if souls do exist, they may not be the key to personal identity.